Hello friends, today we are going to see the next topic that is what your mean deviation and average deviation. The range of quartile deviation are not based on all the observation. Okay, So for example, your range uh, includes only the extreme values that is what your smallest value and the largest value where your quartile deviation has only the middle portion of the distribution that is what from Q1 till Q3. Okay, so they don't include all the values. The there are positional measures of dispersion. Okay, they are what your positional measures of observation. So they do not show any scattered of the observation from an average. The mean deviation and the standard deviation are based on all items in order to measure the dispersion. In your mean deviation and standard deviation, we are going to include all the values of the distribution. So, it will overcome uh, the drawback of your range and the quartile deviation. So, the mean deviation is arithmetic mean of the deviation of a series computed from measure of central tendency that is the mean, median and mode. All the deviations are taken as a uh, taken as what positive that is what your plus sign okay and we are going to ignore all the negative signs over here. So, the mean deviation is the average amount of scattered of the items in, uh, dis in the distribution from either the mean or the median ignoring the sign of your deviation. It is denoted by the Greek letter delta or you can say MD that is stand for your mean deviation. So, your coefficient of mean deviation is what? Coefficient of mean deviation is equals to mean deviation divided by mean or you can divide it by median or you can divide by mode. Okay. So, we are going to see your mean deviation for an individual series, for a discrete series as well as for your continuous series. So, here your mean deviation is for what? Individual series. These are the steps. So, first we are going to calculate the average. Okay. So, you can calculate mean or median or mode of the series because we are going to divide it by mean, median or mode. Okay. Then take a deviation of item from the average ignoring your plus and minus sign and it is denoted uh, by the deviation delta sorry your mode d okay compute the total of this deviation means what summation of mode d divide this summation divide by the number of observation that is what n here your data is what it is a individual series so n will be what your number of observations okay so uh, where your md is what your mean deviation summation of d is what the sum of deviation n is equals to what the number of uh, items okay deviation means what we are going to subtract your value from your mean mode mid, for, or median we are going to ignore the signs okay we are going to ignore the signs means what we are going to consider it as what your positives only okay so this is one example for your individual series. So, the data is given 100, 150, 200, 250, 6, uh, 360, 490, 500, 600 and 761. This is what your individual kind of data or you can say raw data. We are going to calculate what coefficient of mean deviation. Okay. So, first we are going to plot the table. Okay. So, we are going to write all the values of your x. Then we are going to find what? A deviation. How to find deviation? x minus x bar, right? So, first we need to find what? Value for your x bar means what? It is what? x bar means what? Your mean, okay? So, the formula for mean is what? Now, we are going to apply all the formulas for your individual series that we have seen in the last lectures, okay? So, the x bar is equals to what? Summation of x divided by n, okay? So, what is the summation of this x? The summation of x, this x is what? 3, 3, 2, 1. Okay. 3,321. How many observations are there? There are total 9 observations. So, n is equals to what? 9. So, after calculation, the value is what? 369. Okay. So, we are going to subtract 369 from each value. Okay. 
So, how you going to do that? Uh, your what is your formula? Mo d is equals to x minus x bar. Okay. Now we know the value of x bar. We know the value of x. So suppose your first value of x is what? Hundred. Hundred minus your uh, mean is what? Three sixty nine. So your value will become what? Two six nine. It is actually minus two six nine. But here we are ignoring the sign, so it will become what? Positive. So that's why you have value as what? Two six nine. After that, again we going to do the next calculation. Okay, so the next calculation will be what? One fifty minus three six nine. Again, you will get an answer in minus that is two one nine minus two one nine, right? So minus two one nine. Again, we are going to ignore the sign. That's why you have positive value over here. Same way, we are going to subtract each x value from your mean. Okay. So after subtraction, this is the column of the values. This is what your deviation. What do you mean by d? D means what your deviation. Okay. If you want to find the median, you can find the median also. Okay. After subtracting from the median, you'll get this column. Okay. So either you can subtract x from what your mean or the median or mode. It's your choice. So mean deviation from mean is what? Summation of mode d divided by n. So what is the summation of this d? The summation of this d is what? One five seven zero. Okay, so one pi seven zero. How many observations are that? There are total nine observations. So which is equals to one seven four point four four. Okay, so this is what your mean deviation for the data. Okay, how to find your coefficient of mean deviation? Coefficient of mean deviation is equals to what mean deviation divided by mean. Okay, so we know the values one forty four seventy four min point. Forty-four divided by three nine six, which is equals to zero point four seven. Okay, <clears throat> for median, this is your median. Again, n plus one divided by two. So nine observations are there. Nine plus one ten. Ten divided by two. Fifth item. Now, where to find this fifth item? Over here, this data is arranged. Huh? For median, first we are going to arrange the data. As this data is already arranged, there is uh, the fifth item is what here. 360. That's why your median is what? 360. Okay. After the calculation, again we are going to use the same formula: summation of uh, mod d divided by n. Summation of mod d means the summation of this column is what? 1561. Okay. 1561 divided by 9. The answer is what? 173.44. Okay. And the coefficient of mean deviation is 0. Four eight. There is a minute difference between both the values, but it is acceptable. You can uh, find the deviation using mean as well as using median, or you can find the deviation using mode also. Okay. <clears throat> After that, we are going to see the mean deviation for the discrete series. Okay. Now again, same way, we are going to find either of this value. You can find mean or median or mode. Okay. After the mean, mode, median. You are going to find out the deviation. So, what is the deviation? Deviation is equals to what? X minus your x bar, or you can uh, subtract by m, or you can subtract by mode. Okay. After finding deviation, you are going to take a mode of it. Means what? You are going to ignore the signs. Okay. After that, you are going to multiply this deviation with the f. Okay. So, you are going to find the f into Mode D column. Okay. After finding the F into Mode D column, you are going to find the summation of that column. After finding out the summation, you are going to apply this formula. So the mean deviation is equals to summation of F into Mode D divided by n. So we will take one example. So this data is what your discrete data. So they have said what? Calculate mean deviation from the following data. Okay. So you have X series and F series. Okay, your data is already arranged over here, so no need to arrange the data. Okay, so we are going to find what your mean. You are going to find what your x bar. 
now what is the formula for x bar as this is what your discrete series so we are going to apply the formula for the discrete series only ok so the mean for your discrete series is what x bar is equals to summation f into x divided by n ok so we are going to find the column for what f x means x into f so 2 into 1 2 4 into 4 16 6 into 6 36 8 into 4 32 10 into 1 10 ok after finding out the uh, multiplication you are going to sum that that is what the summation of this column is what 96 and summation of your frequency is what 16 ok after that we are going to put all the values into the formula and we are going to find what your final answer that is mean is equals to what 6 after finding out uh, mean you are going to sub find the deviation so deviation is equals to what x minus x bar so your x bar was is what 6 ok so these are your x values so 2 minus 4 is what sorry 2 minus 6 is what minus 4 so we are going to ignore the signs that is why it is a positive 4 after that 4 minus 6 is what minus 2 so you are going to consider only 2 6 minus 6 is equals to 0, 8 minus 6 is equals to 2, 10 minus 6 is equals to what 4. So, likewise we found out what your deviation. After that this is your formula for deviation. It says what summation of f into uh, mode d divided by n. So, f is what 1, deviation is what 4. So, 1 into 4, so 1 into 4 is what 4. 4 into 2 is what? 8. 6 into 0 what? 0. Likewise, you are going to find the product of f and the deviation. After finding out the product, you are going to uh, find the summation. The summation is what? 24. So, 24 divided by n. Now, what do you mean by n? Here, n will be what? Your summation of frequency. The summation of frequency is what? 16. So, 24 minus 16 is what? 1.5. This is what your final answer for the mean deviation okay now same way we're going to find the answer for your mean deviation for the continuous series okay so the question is given you have class intervals and the frequencies our classes are being 0 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 frequencies are 3 4 2 1 okay so first we're going to find the mean okay now how to find mean the formula is what x bar is equals to summation f into m divided by summation of f ok so this is your formula for mean ok so first we need to find what f into m so what do you mean by m m is what mid value so we are first going to find mid value how to find mid value 2 plus 4 divided by 2 2 is what the lower class limit of the first class plus high, uh, upper limit of the first class. So, 2 plus 4, 6, 6 by 2 is what? 3. So, mid value is what? 3. After that, 4 my, uh, plus 6 divided by 2, you will have what? 10 by 2, 10 by 2 means what? 5. Likewise, you are going to find all the mid values, ok. After that, we are going to find the product of f and, and m. So, this is the column for product of f and ok. So, your for median value is 3, 3 into 3, 9. 5 into 4 20, 7 into 2 9, 14, okay. then 9 into 1 9, after that we are going to find the summation of this column is what, 52, okay. so the 52 divided by 10, now 10 is what, summation of the frequency, right, okay. so the 52 by 10 is what, your point 2, then we are going to apply the formula for your mean deviation, so mean deviation is equal to what, summation of f into mode d divided by n ok so we need to find what deviation how to find deviation your mean value here we are not going to consider x here we are going to consider what your m mean value so mean value minus x bar so first mean value is what 3 3 minus your x bar is what 5.2 ok so the answer is minus 2.2 so we are going to ignore the sign that is why 2.2 same way we are going to subtract the mid value and your mean ok after subtracting we are going to multiply this deviation column with the frequency 
so 3 into 2.2 you will get 6.6 .6. 4 into 0 0.2 you will get 0 0.8 2 into 1.8 you will get 3.6 1 into 3.8 you will get a 3.8 after that you are going to find the summation of this column the summation of this column is what 14.8 so 14.8 divided by 10 you will get a final answer as 1.48 okay the formula for mean deviation for the uh, discrete series and the continuous series is same it's just that to find your uh, mean value you're going to find apply the formula for the continuous series same way for the deviation you're going to subtract the mean value uh, you're going to have a subtraction of mean value and the mean thank you